gentlemen, would you like to hear from Terry and Dino again? Yes, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the irrepressible, uncontroversial, not Terry Horus and Demonus. Terry, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed in you. You've been beaten, beaten by, uh, beaten with pace by Dino. That's disappointing. Well, it is disappointing because when I was his uh, coach at uh, Bradford, I'd give him a 20 yard start and still beat him, you know. <laughs> but I've got to say, he had more skill than me. Absolutely. Um, Dino, what about the game today? What did you make of it? First half was okay. Got back in the game. A bit of a 20 minute spare to get back in the game. So what? <clears throat> Great save by Alan to keep us in the game, but we just didn't do enough second half. I don't think we did enough up front. You know, the balls was in the wide areas. It was too slow when we when we trying to deliver crosses. Two centre forwards didn't do enough second half for me. Always running outside the box, never staying in the box. And we did look as though we were going to score second half. And then obviously Leeds came back. Fair, fair play to them. Got a good goal, second goal. But great atmosphere. But uh, disappointment with the result really. Yeah. Um, Terry, you said Leeds were going to be rubbish. We too far, aren't we? Well, I think uh, Hull were the better side. They, they were the better side on the day. Um, but I feel with Hull, Hull have got a, have a cutting edge. And at the moment, they haven't got one. You know, they can't change that before the playoffs, but they, they need somebody who's going to stick the ball in there. What Leeds United need is a new goalkeeper, a new centre-half, a new central midfield player, and a striker that can score goals. But apart from that, um, a new owner. <laughs> Good penalty save, wasn't it, Terry? Oh, it's tremendous save. That, you know, Wood hit it quite well. You know, I thought the goalkeeper just read it. Great save. Great save. What do you make of City overall? As I said, I just think they need somebody up front who's going to score 20 goals a season. Maybe two, two players up front. But uh, as far as the rest of it's concerned, they look alright. You know, they, they can pass the ball. Uh, I like the big lad at the back. You know, I thought, I thought he was strong, he could play, he could pass the ball. Aaron Maguire. Yeah, I, I thought he was a good player. Um, other than that, I, I couldn't see them, you know, changing a lot in their team. You know, Barfield the striker. Uh, Terry, your experience manager, you managed a, an awful lot of games in your time. What does Steve Bruce do at, at this stage? We're in the playoffs. Does he still play his best team in the next few games? Does he experiment a little bit? Does he give one or two a rest? What, what would you do? I'd rest them, uh, make them fresh for the for the playoffs. Take them in and uh, into the playoffs with players who have got good legs. You need, you need that because you're playing one big game after another. It's like cup finals, you know. And you know, I disagree with Dean. Dean was saying earlier on about you know to play away from home first. I just I just think you treat both games the same. You go away from home and try and win it. And if you win it, you come back home and you're a bit more comfortable. Yeah. Dean, just a final word from you on today. No, like you said, disappointing in the, in the final third. We do, just don't look as though we're going to score goals. That's the, that's the problem. And Terry's right. Why do centre forwards want to run outside the down the sides? I do not know for me. And I don't know if he tells them to do that, but you know, I can run. But it was one of them where I'm glad I could run, to be fair. <laughs> but it's one of them when the ball's in the wide areas, get yourself in the box. But two, two centre forwards want to come out of the box. That's what centre halves want. You know, and I said to Tuba when he come with, when I was walking on the pitch out time, just stay in the box, stop running outside the box because you're not going to score goals out there. So we've got to address that, like Terry says, we just don't cause a threat at the minute and, and it's quite worrying when you come into the clouds. You've got to have that cutting edge, you've got to have that, that delivery and when the delivery comes you've got to have that football intelligence to get in the box where, where it hurts and we're just not doing that. Okay, Dean, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed your afternoon with us. I'm Alex Berger. Give me thanks to Terry Orrin and to Dean with us.